Attention Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive planetfall. Congratulations. Note. Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to Onboarding. First objective, please. All right, you know of that. Hello, everyone. I am Baboon King, and welcome to Satisfactory. I've been so keen on playing this game. I've been waiting for so long, and finally, I'm here. I'm here. I'm playing it. Yes, look at me. I'm playing it. Yay! <laughs> Anyways, what is Satisfactory all about? It is you. Basically, if you guys know uh, Factorio, that game, um, it's just basically a 3D version of it but nowhere close as to how beautiful this game looks i mean look at that it is amazing um ooh, hello there <laughs> hello there fat thing man i must say this game it really I, I played this for like 30 minutes before and i was amazed about just the first 30 minutes was just so captivating i couldn't wait to start the series with you guys so make sure you hit that like button if you're just excited as I am. I'm super excited. Otherwise, let me know in the comment section. What do, you, what do you think? What's your personal take on this game? Okay, so let's go ahead and start collecting a couple of resources. Just quickly, quickly just grabbing everything we can. Uh, let's see over here. Okay. That and that and that and that and that. <laughs> Alright, 100% now. Uh, first objective is to dismantle this part over here. Uh, just a quick note that videos might be between 10 and 15 minutes long and um, It depends on if we are going a bit longer. There might be a per project or something Which we need to finish up before you know ending off an episode So just make just back relax and enjoy the show first things first uh, we have to dismantle this drop pod over here so let's go ahead press F and click boom we have the thing. Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note. 
According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. All right, let's go ahead and open up our tab. We have a Xeno Zapper here. Ooh. <laughs> objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. All right, so if we press C, we scan. And I think if we hold in C, we can see what we can scan for. All right, there we go. It is showing us... Hmm... 300, 500 meters in that direction and 300 meters in this direction. Let's go this way. It's it's somewhat closer. And it's probably not too too far off. I'm just going to run and grab as many things as possible. And another way in healing. I've been watching literally a minute and not longer. Ooh, what's that? Gas, gas. Ooh. Just a minute or so of other YouTubers playing this. And um, the guy just started out with the... Like, you run around and picked fruits or something? I did in my previous video, or not video, previous play of the game, I did get some fruit. Wait, where's that iron? I did get some fruit and um, now I don't see it. And now I don't see, uh, I mean, I did get some fruit, I don't know where it is right now. So, oh, here it is. Pick up them nuts. <laughs> These this nuts possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. <laughs> hey. I know exactly how to deal with you guys. And away you go. Yeah. Yeah. Studying the remains of this creature might shed light on how to defend yourself in the future. I recommend analysis. Okay, I don't know how to do analysis, but all right. Let's quickly take care of this guy. We're here. Ow, should not charge. Damn it, head on. What? <laughs> Doing a ballerina? <laughs> and down you go. Because I've noticed they run around in a circle around its target, so... And it will, you will do that constantly. Properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. Oh, this is new. Okay. So, we might want to plan our base sort of off to this side. So we don't cover these petals. Just in case they respawn. I haven't seen... I haven't played long enough to see if resources do respawn. But that is fine. Alright, so I think this is what we're looking for. Yes, iron ore. And I'm going to take this pure. I don't know if there is a difference between normal and pure. Well, I don't know yet, but let's go ahead and poke at it. Poke. Keep poking Fourth at objective. it. Objective. Build the hub. Note. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Okay. We will build close-ish to it-ish. I just want to clear out some areas. And I think this is a good spot right here. Yeah. So, what we need to do is press Q. We see there's a hub. And yeah. Now, one thing I want is when I go into building this... If I don't know if the developers will be watching this video. I'm not too sure. I want a third-person view of viewing this. I don't know. Let's see in the... Bottom, left control. It's not really doing anything. Uh, hold left control to snap guidelines. Okay. Left mouse button to build. Scroll up and down. Okay, so there is no way to zoom out at all. But I want, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of zooms, you know? Just some third person stuff. So I can place this better because as you can see on the left hand side that is a bit out. I don't know if it's over an edge or whatever. I mean we can probably zoom out this far. Which I think is it's fine. Alright, let's just go ahead and place it down. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we built a thing. We done a thing. 
Congratulations, you have unlocked Hub Feature Manual Craft Bench Hub Feature Hub Terminal Fifth Objective Hub Upgrade Storage and Power Note, the Craft Bench and Hub Terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Okay, so uh, what I like about this is that some things are manual. And what I saw like is this little teacup or right over here or coffee cup. <laughs> Just like it builds it, includes a coffee cup. So this must be like a deluxe version of the hub. <laughs> Ooh. That is so cool. It's like a bomb moth. Wow, that's amazing. And the sound it makes with it. It's so cool. And uh, yeah, the game is running brilliantly on my PC, although I have a GTX 1080 in. Um, it still spools up all three fans. They are blowing very, very hard. And I can feel my room is beginning to get very hot. So yeah. Right, so we want to go ahead and do a hub upgrade. Select this milestone. And then we can see, okay, it's waiting for resources. So it wants iron rods. All right, uh, can I, I have to do that. So if we go over here to this bench, we can see here is an iron rod, which requires iron ingots. So let's go ahead and do this. Click and hold. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's go ahead and just do this. Boom. It's in our inventory. Luckily, we don't have to take it out and put it into our inventory. So let's go ahead, place that in there. Hub upgrade. And upgrade complete too. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. How much time do we have? Oh, okay, have we still have some time. Feature, biomass generator. Hub feature, personal storage. Scanner feature, copper. New equipment, buildings, and blueprints, which can be found in the workshop when built, build menu, and craft bench, respectively. Sixth objective, hub upgrade, construction. Note. Connect buildings to a generator for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay, so uh, we can now scan for different resources between iron and copper, okay? So I'm just gonna do iron. It's gonna show us over there and over there. I don't know what that was. Oh, it is a lot more this way. Wow, this range of this thing is amazing. Okay, so for me, it's fine as is. Okay, we're not really going to go out out of our way for copper just yet. Now, we have a biomass burner over here. It's basically a power generator. As you can see, um, it shows us how much megawatts and I don't know, production time. I don't know what that really is. I don't know how it works with this biomass burner. But all you have to do is take stuff, put stuff in there, it starts burning stuff, and then it, yeah, 100%. So that is one way to connect the power, and I think over there, that little rod is what is the connection to other buildings and things. So let's go ahead and see, we have a craft bench, a work workshop, and a smelter. So, hmm, what, what are we going to do first? I mean, we already have a craft bench. It's included in here. Yeah, so we don't need a craft bench. But um, what does the what what does, what does it say? Build equipment workshop. So we want a workshop. All right. And hmm. Oh, okay. It is missing some stuffs, the blueprints. So six iron plates and six iron rods. That is all right. We can do that. And let's go ahead. Do that. I think it was six. For that. And then six plates. Yeah, six plates. So let's go ahead and two, three, four, five, six. Boom! Done and done. Now, uh, let's see if the snap... Hold, left, control, right, left. Okay, it's not really snapping to anything. It doesn't really look like it. Although, I have seen like some buildings do have 
a guide. Okay, so let's just put it as close as possible to here. I feel like that is a good place. Okay, so we have... Can we... Yeah, we can walk normally here. So there's some shooting targets over here. And we can see... Okay, we can make a portable miner over here. Now it requires four iron plates, some wire, and some cable. And those things fall into the category of finding copper. But I think that is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here on Satisfactory. I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.